Hi everybody. I bet you're wondering what this is. This is four squirrels cleaned from yesterday's hunt. I'm gonna make a Creole squirrel dish that is out of this world. But first, I'm gonna take you on that hunt. All right, so I'm out here running the smoker right there. And there's squirrels all over right next to my barn. I'm gonna go get one of them. I've had the pellet gun out here just in case. Here we go. I'm gonna see how many I can get. All right, they're all right back here. All over there to there. I got four. That's awesome. I'm gonna go pick them up. watching off my rocker and this was an epic hunt. So the first thing we got to do is boil the squirrel legs to get the meat off the bone. Now I'm going to add some chicken bone broth while we're boiling this just to add a little extra flavor.
Okay, I got the squirrel out of the pan. I've got it cooling down. I'm gonna debone it in a second. What you need for the rest of this recipe is about a half a cup of sour cream, three teaspoons of Creole seasoning, a couple cans, small cans of mushrooms, two cans of cream of mushroom soup, two tablespoons of butter, a couple celery stalks, one onion, one yellow pepper, and rice. I prefer long cooked uh, basmati rice. I just think it has a better flavor. Now we're gonna use an Instapot. You can use a crock pot if you want, but Instapot is what I wanna use for this one because the meal will be done in about two hours and a crock pot, eh, it might take a little longer. Plus I can saute the vegetables in here, which is the next step. So I'm gonna throw my butter in. There we go, it's hot. I've already chopped up my vegetables. I went ahead and measured out three teaspoons of Creole seasoning. I'm gonna put that in. Okay, and then we're gonna saute these vegetables. So we wanna saute these vegetables until they're translucent and very tender. All right, now that we got the vegetables cooked down and they're translucent, we're gonna add our cream of mushroom soup. Our mushrooms. I like to leave the juice in too. I, I like, I think it adds something to the flavor. And this is about a half a cup of sour cream. So I'm just gonna use it up, it might be a little more, but it'll be okay. I like sour cream. All right, now that we've got that, we're gonna get it all mixed up. Now it's a little thick, so I'm gonna add some of our chicken broth that we cooked the squirrel legs in. Let me get that. All right. That was condensed soup, so it is a little thick. And I got about two cups of liquid left here. I'm just gonna pour that in. Perfect. Now we're gonna get that hot. All right, now you wanna make sure you keep stirring this so it doesn't scorch. As we're warming it up, I'm gonna add all the deboned squirrel meat that we made, and put it in. We're gonna get everything nice and warm. That's the trick to a, a, a Instapot, is get it all warm before you start to cook. So once I put this lid on, I can't stir it. And every once in a while, it wants to scorch a little bit. So we're gonna get this good and hot before we put the lid on. Smells so good already. Okay, as you can see, we got it good and hot now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on it, turn it to two hours of pressure cooking, and we're gonna have the most fabulous meal when we open this lid. There we go. I got it good and hot. It wanted to start right away. All right, everybody, here we go. Oh yeah, it looks great. Perfect, I wish you could smell this. So, we're just gonna put a little bit of rice together. And some of our Creole squirrel. Doesn't that look delicious? It's really hot, but I'm gonna try it. It's 
big old chunk of squirrel. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Oh, that is so good. I want to thank you for watching Off My Rocker. And if you like this kind of content, hit that like and subscribe button for me. As always, we'll see you on the next hunt.